In February of 2011, high school senior Ryan Krauser stepped into the ring at the Simplot Games and made history. He threw the 12 pound ball 77 feet 2 and 3 quarters inches to set the high school indoor national record. Almost 12 years later to the day, Ryan would again step into the Simplot Games ring and deliver the greatest throw the sport has ever seen. In the 12 years since Ryan's high school record, he has accomplished everything you can in the sport of shot put. He's won two Olympic gold medals while setting the Olympic record each time. He broke both of Randy Barnes' indoor and outdoor world records that were thought to be unbreakable, including Barnes' outdoor world record that stood 31 years before Ryan shattered the mark at the 2021 Olympic trials by throwing 23.37 meters, almost a foot farther than the previous record. The only thing that was missing from Ryan's resume was a world championship gold, which he checked off last year while setting a championship meet record. By almost every measure, Ryan Krauser is the greatest shot putter of all time. So what do you do when you've done everything? For Ryan, you go back to where the record started, in Pocatello, Idaho, the site of the Simplot Games. The historic effort came on the very first throw. It took a few seconds to realize what just happened. Ryan didn't just break his indoor world record of 22.82 meters. He threw the farthest shot distance ever recorded, 23.38 meters. One centimeter more than his outdoor world record. The crowd was stunned, but not as much as Ryan. Ryan even stated it was the biggest surprise of his career. So what made this throw so unexpected? For starters, let's look at the start. Ryan set this record off a static start. Not a full wind, not the Krauser slide, a static start. What that means is at the back of the ring, Ryan only does a little pre-turn with his left foot to break the friction of the ground and begin the throw. This is usually a safer, more controlled approach that Ryan likes to use in opening throws to get a mark in. The trade-off is compared to a full wind, the ball travels less and you'll likely not be able to generate as much speed out of the entry. Ryan has thrown 23.02 meters with a static start before at last year's Prefontaine Classic. Compared to his recent record throw, Ryan does less of a pre-turn here and just goes from a fixed foot position. Ryan's outdoor world record was set with a full wind approach, and he's been playing with a new entry at the back of the ring nicknamed the Krauser Slide that he claims can add 77 centimeters to his static start. By Ryan's math, he is in 24 meter plus shape right now if he can line up the slide, which is hard to even comprehend. The other mind-blowing fact about this throw is Ryan, per his words, was feeling flat in the week leading up and decided to do something he's never done before a competition. He took the two days prior completely off. So if Ryan throws this off a static start in the middle of February, what's in store for later? Well, World Championships in Budapest aren't until August, and because Krauser won gold at Worlds last year, he has an auto entry, which means he can train through USAs without tapering. If he stays healthy and can line up the full wind, slide, or whatever, the sky is the limit. Thank you for watching, and throw far.